Derek Dimmitt outside of Kerr Stadium here on the campus of the University of Mount Union where the Purple Raiders defeated the Otterbein Cardinals by a score of 51-14 to this afternoon. The Purple Raiders were led by quarterback Braxton Plunk who threw for five touchdowns connecting with wide receiver Wayne Ruby on three of those touchdowns and Nick Turner added a punt return for a touchdown to aid the Raiders in victory. Here are some post-game thoughts from head coach Jeff Dart, quarterback Braxton Plunk, defense alignment Vaughn Factor, and wide receiver and punt returner Nick Turner. So Braxton, you guys come out today, get a get a nice win against Otterbein. Uh, we'll start things off with kind of offensive game plan. Wayne with three touchdown passes, um, thanks for the arm of yourself. Is that kind of in the game plan to try to involve Wayne a little bit more today? Um, you know, I think it's kind of always in the game plan. Some teams play a little different. Um, I thought Otterbein had a really good secondary. They trusted their guys. Um, but Wayne made some plays, uh, ran some really good routes, and then made some catches down the field. And it, it seems like a lot this season, you tend to find your tight ends in uh, Wyatt and Lawson uh, kind of on those kind of sneak out routes at the last second. It, it, how nice is that knowing when you're kind of back there trying to figure everything out, you always have those guys as a kind of last resort? Right. Uh, they have great feel, and both of them kind of are receivers. You know, I think they play a lot of receiver in high school or starting out here as a receiver. So they have great feel for space um, on the field where they're at, where defenders are. So they always, you can kind of see them with their hands up and kind of trust them to be there. A couple guys stepped up today, it seemed like, with the first teamers and Nick Turner and uh, Ryan Iden as Tyler looked like went down a little bit early on in that game. What can you say about their work ethic and performance they put on kind of late in games and now you guys really needed them. They stepped up for you yeah. today. Uh, I think it shows for itself, especially both of them. I think are, uh, this is their junior year, so they've been here for a while and they've gotten their chance and they're both playing really well, uh, strong, uh, very tough and, and smart and you trust them. In your defense, uh, in special teams too, has um, two special team scores. Your defense gets a couple of turnovers for you guys. Continue to talk about it all year, but what's it like when they have your back and then uh, form an offense knowing that they have your back? What's it like for you guys going out there with Huge. that? Huge, yeah. I mean, it, when you can get the ball around the 50-yard line, that's a lot of confidence for an offense. Um, Nick's also been good in the return game with special teams, but um, our defense is amazing. They've been playing so good this year. Is that, is that time of year, Braxton? The playoffs are here, but want to know every week, as a leader on this team, what do you tell your team? Don't look too far ahead. I mean, even the next week, this is take care of business today, you know, going forward. Yeah, uh, you try to keep it like that every week so you don't have to kind of flip a switch here at the later of the season. Um, some of the, the more, I wouldn't say older, but more experienced coaches that have been here for a while, Coach Monty, Coach Gully, and Coach Karras, kind of teach that and preach that early on in the season so you don't have to flip a switch later on. Um, but, I mean, there's no hiding it. There's some really good teams for fixing and play here starting this week. Um, and it's like Coach Starts said, it's our goal to win the – conference championship and playoffs right now. It, it's always, you know, want to know each week, but with, you just mentioned it, with John Carroll next week, does that kind of put a little extra juice in the game plan and practices this coming week? Um, you know, obviously there's some rivalry there, but I think just because of um, the, the ability of their team, they're a really good team, very well coached. Um, you know, I think that kind of gets under you lights a fire under you knowing that you're fixing to play a good team in a pretty good environment at John Carroll they always do a great job up there so it's exciting for all of us. Yeah, you guys came out and executed over there I just want to know like how, how did the preparation go throughout the practice week? Um, yeah just uh, pretty normal um, we try to you know balance offense run pass um, but it kind of just depends you never really know truly what a defense is going to do um, you try to react as, as quick as you can when the game starts. Good. Your guys' defense today play, played really well for, for the entirety of the game. Another great performance for you guys. Week in and week out, is there something that you guys try to do to try to necessarily, I don't know if improve is the right word, but kind of challenge yourselves to do a little bit extra week in and week out? Uh, we're always challenging ourselves every week with different stuff. Um, I also got to give credit where, like, we're a super close defense. All of us are really close friends. So I think that plays into it a lot. Um, just being that close and challenging us every week. So, Other than kind of keeping the other team off the scoreboard offensively, getting a couple of turnovers, what does that do for you guys as a defense? Um, it just gets the momentum in our favor. Uh, like we started off a little rough penalties-wise, uh, went into halftime, really calmed it down and everything, came back in the second half better than where we were. With how the first half ended, a little uh, skirmish there, uh, was that just the message from the defensive staff and coach 
act art just kind of you know reset just kind of not let emotions get the best of you because you guys have been in this position before and you know that you're getting everyone's best effort and you know just that was that just the yeah that was the message just to keep our heads on straight uh no more penalties have a clean game just walk away from everything because it was getting chippy out there so just had to keep going well once again you guys came out dominated made adjustment adjustments the pass rush was dominant once again how do you feel like it's been all year and how do you feel like it's grown each week and just continuing to get better and better uh we always just in the film room as a d-line um Coach Q gets us right on the field and in the film. So just got to give thanks to him and my other pass rushers who are next to me, just making plays for each other, which is really helpful. What's your mentality going into next week with the OEC, at least to share you know, on the line? Uh, just dominate. Um, it's a big week for everybody. Uh, and I really think our defense is going to show up and show everybody who's doubted us what we're going to put on. We're going to put on a show. Good. Nick, so you guys have another successful day today um, at home. And for yourself, you had that punt return touchdown. Kind of talk us through there. It was a real electric play. Kind of talk us through the play if you could. Uh, just I saw number 84 coming down. I saw him coming down hard. I saw the ball on the side of him. I was going to call a fair catch, but I just I saw the room and just went. I had great blockers uh, thanks to number 36, Poundstone. Did a great job. Everybody did a great job on that. Getting a special team score, obviously something you guys work on in practice a lot, but it's so rare, it's so, not necessarily rare, but it's so cool when it actually comes comes true and happens. How much fuel does that give the rest of your team when you run in that score? Oh man, it's electric. Everybody everybody gets pumped. Uh, just another type of play. For yourself and uh, Ryan Nain stepped up today, um, got a lot of uh, important playing time. And you guys have definitely made your presence known kind of in the latter part of the ball game in the last two weeks. So how cool is it to see that the work you guys put in uh, at practice and towards the end of games, now you're in big time moments earlier today, especially the punt return, and I come to fruition. I'm uh, just blessed. Everybody everybody comes together. Everybody does a great job. Coaches, uh, just everybody trusting each other. And your, your teammate Wayne Ruby gets three, three touchdown uh, catches today. How monumental has he been for not only your progress here at Mount, but all the other receivers in the receiver room? Uh, we lead after him. Um, just He's a great leader, does everything. And then um, the block punt, um, obviously has the returner, you're wanting the ball, any chance you can get, but um, just the momentum swing that that block punt had, you guys did have the lead, but that put you up nine, nothing. Then you get the ball back on the free kick, just that um, momentum swing and just kind of talk about that. Uh, just everybody did a great job. Um, just everybody did a fantastic job that Obviously, that brings a lot of energy to the sideline. Everybody, offense, defense, uh, just a great play. Going back to your punt return, how much do you think that affected the, the momentum after uh, two stalled out drives by the offense? Uh, that definitely brought some, you know, uh, some, you know, momentum. Um, just that was energy, electric, everything. They come to Mount Union. You don't expect to play, you know, your first year, second year. You've got to earn your way. Right. I mean, it's the best of the best in the nation. Only a sophomore making impacts on offense and special teams. What do you attribute your success to? Uh, God and my coaches trusting me. Uh, just came in as a freshman, didn't really get as much playing time. Um, actually, no playing time. I was on JV, wasn't starting. Uh, came in as spring ball and just worked, and then coaches trusted me. Another successful showing for you guys today. Um, get another win. Start things off. Two special team scores for you guys today. How cool is it to see those guys? Obviously, they put in a bunch of work, especially on the return units. They're always on great coverage. But to actually get some points on the board, what does that do for those guys and your team as well? Well, if you can score, obviously, you know, on defense and on special teams, you know, that just generates so much energy amongst the team. And uh, we focus a lot on special teams throughout the week. Um, with, with all the units, but um, you know, we saw some things in the punt return unit where we thought we could, you know, force some bad punts, and obviously we got to that one. Um, may, maybe we need to work a, uh, you know, recovery, fumble recovery drill, so we fall on that in the end zone and, and not for safety. But the the effort that they consistently showed or have been showing has been really, really good, and obviously that speaks a lot to what Coach Miller's doing with the special team this year.
You mentioned fumbles. Your defense gets two of them today. Obviously, they've been great all year, but to, to see those two turnovers forced, uh, what does that do for those guys too? Yeah, still, I mean, they, like I've talked about before, you know, the, the plan that Coach Ely and the defensive assistants, you know, put together and our guys play with, you know, tons of effort, you know, flying to the ball um, and tackling. And obviously that showed up, um, you know, I thought offensively we weren't great to start. Um, give a lot of credit to Ottermine's defense. I think they punched us in the mouth a little bit. Uh, we were able to respond, which was good. Uh, but we just got to be more consistent with our execution. And a couple guys individually on offense, uh, Nick Turner and Ryan Knight, and have been some guys that have played a lot late in games over the last yeah. few weeks for you guys, and to get some uh, snaps and, and play well today in big moments, especially uh, Ryan stepping in for Tyler. Um, what's it like to see that they obviously put in a lot of work and to see them with the first teamers and play well? Um, what does that show for not only their play, but um, for the rest of the team? Well, we've always had a next man up mentality here. And uh, Nick has, I mean, basically been a starter, you know, over the last few weeks, probably four games, you know, we've been in some bigger personnel where he doesn't necessarily see the field, but he's explosive uh, when he gets the ball, hit the ball in his hands. And obviously he showed that on the punt return today. Um, but then I just, he's just a grinder, you know, shows up every day, uh, puts the work in and uh, was happy to see him be productive as well. Wayne Ruby gets three touchdowns today. He's a guy that the defense obviously tends to focus on a lot yeah. uh, week in and week out. How cool is it to see him break away from multiple scores within a game? Yeah, it, you know, we have connected with him a little bit down the field this year, but, you know, it was good. We recognized what they were doing in um, a couple of formations, and we were able to take advantage of that with some protection, and Braxton delivered the ball down the field. Um, so before we were talking to Braxton, just kind of, you know, congratulate him on the game and, you know, five touchdowns and 75 or so percent or completion percentage. And he just kind of shrugs it off like, oh, it wasn't as good as it could have been. Yeah. Can you just kind of talk about, you know, having these, not just Braxton, but a lot of your leaders that kind of strive for that perfection and win winning isn't enough. We need to be better than good. Yeah, they want to be excellent in everything that they do. You know, I already kind of mentioned that obviously we, we weren't that on offense today. That could have been my fault with some of the play calling. Um, but overall, you know, it's it's a we thing. And uh, they want to execute consistently. We need to get better at that. And, uh, you know, I told them we're, we're right where we want to be. We're 8-0, huge game next week, but they're all huge, right? It's hard to win football games. And, uh, you know, essentially the playoffs start right now. So we got to do what, you know, we know we can do and take care of business and uh, just keep winning football games one week at a time. And then um, also kind of ask Braxton, you kind of just mentioned it, but knowing that this week is what it is, um, does that mantra of going 1-0 each week when it's a, a game that, a lot of people circle, fans, alumni, yeah. you know, does that kind of add extra juice to the practices leading up to it? Well, it's big because obviously, you know, they're undefeated in the conference as well, but it's also big be because we've won the eight games previous to this, and that doesn't discount the teams that, that we beat, right? Um, but I told the guys, the playoffs start now, and this is why you chose Mount Union. This mm -hmm. is why us coaches want to coach at Mount Union, and I'm excited to see them coming tomorrow, learn from this tape, and then, you know, when we go out to practice next week, I'm excited about the energy and, and how they'll prepare. It's easy to say 1-0 every week, but how do you coach it and get them to believe it? We, we, we only play one game a week. I mean, it's as simple as that. I mean, we can't look ahead. You can never look ahead. Um, maybe there was some of that this week. I, I, you know, I, I'm not the guys, but, you know, I knew we had to um, play against a good Otterbein team. Like, yeah, you look at their record, they're only seven, but I know Coach Zagorski and some of the assistants that they hired, they're, they'll be good. They'll be good. Like, you know, we're not going to look down on any opponents like that. So this is about Mount Union and what we do on a daily basis to be the best versions of ourselves, and we're going to continue to do that. I appreciate it. Believe Land Media's 
Mount Union Purple Raider football coverage this fall has been brought to you by Sky High Fitness, LLC. My name is Derek Dimmitt, and I'll catch you on the 11th when the Purple Raiders welcome the Baldwin-Wallace Yellow Jackets to Karis Stadium.